Ever wondered how a group of Cuban exiles attempted to overthrow one of the most notorious leaders in history? Today we delve into the formation of Brigade 2506. The birth of this brigade was a unique amalgamation of about 1400 anti-Castro fighters, former military personnel and civilians, all united in their opposition to Fidel Castro's regime. The diversity within the brigade was its strength. It was a melting pot of individuals from all walks of life, farmers who had toiled under the hot Cuban sun, laborers who had witnessed the changing political landscape, professionals disillusioned by the revolution, and defectors from the military who brought with them invaluable expertise and experience. They were all brought together by a shared purpose, to free their homeland from the grip of Castro. Thus, Brigade 2506, a diverse group united by their opposition to Castro was born. Now, imagine a covert operation with the CIA at its helm, training these exiles for an invasion. The Central Intelligence Agency, known widely as the CIA, played a pivotal role in the Bay of Pigs invasion. In the shadows of the Cold War, the CIA orchestrated a clandestine operation to equip and train Cuban exiles in the art of warfare. Far away from prying eyes, in the dense jungles of Guatemala, makeshift training camps were established. Here, the CIA provided the exiles with the necessary tools of combat, weapons, equipment and most importantly, the knowledge to wield them. In addition to physical training, the CIA offered logistical support, ensuring the smooth operation of this ambitious endeavor. And as the date of the invasion approached, the exiles harbored an expectation of unwavering U.S. support. They anticipated air cover and additional assistance from the superpower. With the CIA's backing, Brigade 2506 was ready for action. But even the best laid plans can falter. Let's explore the invasion itself and the aftermath that followed. The invasion began with an audacious move. Airstrikes against Cuban airfields led by defectors from the Cuban Air Force. These pilots, once loyal to Castro, had turned against him, embodying the spirit of rebellion that fueled Brigade 2506. Their role was crucial, aiming to cripple the Cuban Air Force and pave the way for a ground invasion. But the mission was fraught with challenges. One of the most significant was communication. While Spanish was the common tongue, regional accents and variations in the language created barriers. Misunderstandings arose, orders were confused, and the unity of the brigade was tested. Despite these challenges, the brigade pressed on, but their hopes of overthrowing Castro were quickly dashed. The support they expected from the United States fell short. The promised air cover was inadequate, leaving the invading force vulnerable. The invasion failed, the brigade was outmatched and outnumbered. Many of the Cuban exiles were captured by Cuban forces, their dreams of liberation turning into a nightmare of captivity. They were held as prisoners of war, their fate uncertain. In the face of international pressure, the Cuban government initially planned to try them for treason. But negotiations with the United States led to a change of heart. The exiles were eventually released, returning to a world that was vastly different from the one they had left. The aftermath of the failed invasion was a mix of relief and regret. Relief for those who had been released from captivity and regret for a mission that had fallen short of its lofty goals. But there was also defiance. Many of the exiles continued to oppose Castro, their resolve hardened by their experiences. Some returned to the United States while others continued their fight against Castro in other ways. Their stories, their bravery, and their defiance continue to echo through the annals of Cuban-American history. The aftermath of the failed invasion saw a mix of relief, regret, and continued defiance. The echoes of the Bay of Pigs invasion continue to resonate. Let's look at its long-term impact. Following the failed invasion, many of the Cuban exiles found their way back to the United States, carrying with them the weight of their experiences. Others, fueled by the fire of their convictions, continued to participate in subsequent anti-Castro activities. The invasion had a profound and lasting impact on the Cuban-American community. It heightened tensions between those who supported Castro and those who vehemently opposed him. The failure of the Bay of Pigs invasion also solidified strong anti-Castro sentiments among the exiles and their descendants. These emotions, deep-seated and fervent, continue to influence the Cuban-American identity and political landscape. The Bay of Pigs invasion, a complex chapter in Cuban-American history, continues to shape the community's narrative to this day.